What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Flash6792 here. Here to bring you guys my Stockton Con haul. And I gotta say, I got a lot of books for you guys this time around. Um, I got pretty nice books for pretty nice deals. And, well, let's just, let, you, let me let you guys be the judge. But first off, I'm gonna start off with these two books. Um... Sharp was there, and so was Ron Lim, so I got them to sign both of my books, my Wonder Woman and my Silver Surfer 44. Uh, so I thought, what the hell, I'll get them signed this time, because Ron Lim's always around in the local cons, so I just never, I never get anything signed, so I just thought, you know what, I got something somewhat significant, so I was like, I'll grab this, I'll get him to sign my Silver Surfer first, Infinity Gauntlet. And then this was just because the artist was the artist was there, so so that's pretty cool. So got those. So let's get started with the books. Um, I'm gonna try and go do this as fast as I can. Uh, but the first book I'm gonna start with. First book I'm gonna start with is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number five. This one is actually the Power Morphicon exclusive. It's not bag and boarded. I haven't got a chance to bag and board it yet. But it's the Power Morphicon exclusive that they had last weekend or two weekends ago. So that's pretty cool to have. I was looking for this. I was almost going to pay 40 bucks online. And then one of the vendors had it for 20 bucks. So I was like, solid. Sold. I'm willing to pay 20 bucks for that. So... Really awesome to have that in my collection. And then... And then I picked these bad boys up. Batman and Superman number 8 and Batman and Superman number 10 from a vendor. Same vendor. Um, I paid 5 bucks for both, basically. Because they were half off and I just got them down a dollar. So I can just give them 5 Instead of six. But amazing, amazing Michael Turner covers. Uh, they just look so beautiful. Really happy to have these. Just awesome. And I'm lucky I got a few Michael Turner covers, honestly. Because that's what these next ones are. Uh was able to get Justice League number zero and Justice League of America number two. Like I said, amazing Michael Turner covers. I'm really happy I got these. These ones I got for a dollar. And then also got issue number three, Michael Turner cover. Issue number six. So I was really lucky to have those in the collection. And then also got this for a dollar. Flash number seven. I was hoping to find the other one, the other the variant for this, but I was I found this one, and I already had the other half of it, so I was like, you know what, I'll grab it. But there is a third variant to this, so trying to find that. So that's a beautiful cover to conjoin together. So I already had this one, and I found that, so I was like, all right, I'll grab it. So that's it from another vendor. And again, I paid like, I paid a dollar a piece for these ones. These are in his dollar bins. Um, finally finished the Michael Turner covers for the Flash run. I uh, was able to find Flash one two o eight and Flash two eleven. Uh, so I finally finished the the Michael Turner cover run on that one. So that was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, these were the only two books I got from that vendor because he wouldn't go down in price. So I was like, whatever. So I just picked these up for thirteen bucks. So I was good with that. I just absolutely love this cover. And 
And as you guys know, on my multiple comment, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Flash6792, same thing, at Flash6792. If you guys saw my multiple comic Monday, you guys know I got another copy of Flash 192. Uh, my third copy, uh, First Impulse, got it for three bucks. So I'm pretty happy on that one. And then I also grabbed from the same vendor Teen Titans 37, First Miss Martian, and Teen Titans number 40, First Miss Martian on cover. So I was really happy to grab those. Um, I know she was announced for Supergirl, so this is actually, I have these two already. I just grabbed them again because they're only $1.50. So I was like, all right, I'll grab them. I'll swoop them up. So I was happy on that one. Just, to, just in case, you never know. And plus, she was really good in Young Justice. So that's another plus. And then these I grabbed from a vendor. This vendor had three for ten dollars. But I think most of his book were five dollar books. But he said three for ten. So I was able to grab Captain America three fifty nine, first cameo of crossbones, and then I think three four three sixty is his full appearance. So I was able to grab that. I grabbed Wolverine number three. Not the best shape. You can tell it has a little blacking right there. So, But I thought for five bucks, you can't go wrong with it. And then also got Wolverine number four. So there's that. And yeah, there's a little piece missing on the right there. But again, five bucks. Can't go wrong with this storyline. Frank Miller storyline. So I thought, whatever. And I honestly was surprised he had these, but I guess for the condition they were in, I guess you can give them almost basically almost give them away. Um, I was able to get Batman: The Darkest Night, The Dark Knight Returns, Book One, Book Three, and Book Four. So I was able to get th four, three out of the four. So I'm just missing Book Two. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, again, not they're not in the greatest condition. You can tell it has spine wear on here, crease on the corner. Same thing with the other one. Big old spine crease. So, and then this one's probably the worst one out of it because it has a little spine. It has a spine wear, and then it has that crease right there, that little crease mark. So. That one's actually the most noticeable one. But for 3 for 10, I wasn't going to pass it up. So they can just be placeholders for now until I upgrade them. So I thought that was nice. I think the only nice condition book I got was out of that set was the Captain America 359. So other than that, everything else is, could be a placeholder for now. Because how often do you get... Someone doing five dollar books on silver bronze age books type deals. So I thought, okay, I'm sold. Uh next vendor. This vendor is the one I always go one of the ones I always go to when I go to cons when when they're there. They always hook me up. Um they know me now and they always give me more deal than what they already have. Because they were fifty percent off. I think they gave me an additional twenty. So, I thought it was cool. So, that's why I picked up the books I did. This one's actually my second copy. Um, Superman 182. Um, first Silver Age Toy Man. Um, this one's actually a better copy than the one I already have. Because the other one's like a little ripped on the spine. Uh, I think the only thing I see flawless or flawed is just the little markers on the corner. But other than that, I think this spine looks pretty great. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not fine or nothing like that, but I think it's a way better copy than the one I already have, so that's an upgrade for me. And then, I always wanted this issue. Um, Superman 166, the, super, the, the Christmas cover. I always thought that was awesome to always have. I always thought that was a unique cover. 
And then also picked up World's Finest 140. Um, I want to say... Uh, I don't know if something's significant about this. I want to say Clayface... First Clayface Superman? I'm not 100% sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But I thought it was a nice cover anyways. Um, I thought it was a nice cover. So I thought, okay, I'll grab it for what... Since he's giving me a little... Since he's giving me a better deal. So... I always enjoy seeing those guys. I always bullshit with them. It's always good when you can bullshit with vendors like that. It's like, you know, you guys you guys like the same stuff. So, it's just it's just like a bond, I guess, you guys get. And then this one I was more excited for. Um I got 3 books from a vendor and I was able to get them down to 35 for all of them. So, First book I'm going to show you, Superman 164. Um, again, not sure if there is a significance on that one. Um, but, thought it was a good book th for five bucks. Because these were all half off. All the price tags you'll see, they, they were actually half off from that price. Uh, so, I was able to get that. Superboy... 80 the first meeting of superboy and, and supergirl so that was pretty awesome to have um this one the only thing i don't like about it i got it but i knew they had the hole punches on them but i was just like you know what for five bucks i guess it could be a placeholder until i get a better copy but um again it does bother me with the hole punch though so it does bother me and then the last book i got from them I'm honestly surprised no one picked it up, but I guess for what the condition was, it it could have been better. Um, but again, I'm happy with it for the price I got it for. Um, Adventures Comics 283. First Phantom Zone and first, um, first Zod. First General Zod. So I was real happy with that was able to grab that from the guy and again I paid 35 for all these books so I was a I was kind of a, it's kind of a steal if you think about it but it's cool I was able to grab it um, it has tape along the side so it's not obviously not that great of a condition um, you can tell it has a little ripping starting right here but I think for me, the tape is the biggest, biggest problem for me. But it's complete. Uh, the book is complete. Um, that's all I can ask for, I guess. For a book that should be really worth more than 40 bucks. But first General Zod, first Phantom Zone. So that's one of my best books right now at the moment in the haul so far. So really happy with those. And then, these are the last few books I have from the con. And then I have two uh, Instagram books. Um, these, This guy, oh man, this guy is such a great guy. Um, it's John from Cosmic Comics. He's from Auburn, California. In, from the Auburn area. And his, I've been to his store twice. And always blows my mind how, what kind of collection he has there to sell uh it's just awesome he always has great deals on them and every time when i go to cons he out to me he always has like some of the best selections uh for anyone um if he doesn't have a price he'll work with you um on them if he doesn't have a price on the books i should say he will work on the price with you um he he's just a great guy altogether. And he always hooks me and my bro kid Jono up when we go. So it's always an honor to meet him. And always a pleasure every time. Because he always has just amazing books and at amazing prices. So these two, these first two books I got from him, I found in his dollar bins. So these are actually doubles for me. Uh, Justice League of America Annual Number 2, First Vibe. And Batman, Batman Superman Annual Number Four, first continuity appearance of Batman Beyond. So, I was really happy to find the Batman Superman one. Um, 
but it's really cool to have both books again um for a dollar a piece i wasn't going to pass up on that especially this one because i believe this one goes for 20 30 bucks on a good day so for a dollar i thought i'd pick it up and then so that was his dollars this one, this next book I got, you guys probably saw on my Instagram too. Um, Batman 359, first full cover appearance of Killer Croc. So I finally got that little trilogy storyline complete. Um, really happy with that one. He, I believe he charged me five bucks for it, if I remember correctly. But I forget what the total altogether was because I bit, did buy a bunch of other books from him. So, at the moment, I, it kind of slips my mind. But I think he charged me 5 bucks for that. And 5 bucks for this as well. Superman 204. The Jim Lee cover. Finally found this one. This one, He charged me 5 bucks for that one. I know he charged me 5 bucks for that one for sure. So, I'm really, really happy on that one. Um, now, I just got to find the Batman one. So, I can have both together. But, right now, the Superman one is cool. Really happy on that one. And then, don't worry guys, this was a bit DC heavy uh, haul, but I did get some Marvel books. Um, I was able to pick up Incredible Hulk 193. Um, I just thought it was a nice cover of early Doc Samson appearance. I know his first appearance was in 141, I believe, if I'm correct. Um... I was trying to find that one first, the 141, but I ended up finding this one. He gave me a good deal on it. I think he gave me like $3 or something on it. So, I was like, alright, I'll take it. Um, next one, Brave and the Bold, 80. Um, nice Neil Adams cover, just a great Neil Adams cover. Um, also, first appearance of Helgramite. Um, he was in Supergirl last season, I believe it was like episode 2 or 3. Uh, so, finally got that book. And these two I'm actually kind of happy for. Uh, I was able to get Marvel Premiere number 1. Um, if I'm correct, I know my buddy Kidron will kill me if I get this wrong. Or he will shout me out for it. <laughs> he will comment down below if I get it wrong. First solo run of Black Panther? Yes. First solo run, I believe. Ooh. Okay. Kidrano, I know what you're going to do. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to go with. And then I was also got Black Panther number one from him. Uh, was going to get this day one, but then I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on it. And then day two came around, and he, it's, he still had it. So I was like, you know what? I'll pick it up. Because it's just a great get Jack Kirby cover. So I had to pick it up. I wasn't going to leave that. And then also got Black Panther number 2 for the run. Um, I don't have the run like my friend Kid Drano does. But it works. It'll work. It'll work for now. Until I my run starts kicking in. And also got some Fantastic Four issues. Was able to get Fantastic Four 44 from him. First Gorgon. First Gorgon, so that's an awesome book. Um, has its it has its wear, but I'm pretty it'll be all right. Uh, also, Fantastic Four twenty, just a really early appearance of uh, Black Bolt, and I just really love that yellow cover. It pops so much. Um, I just really love that cover so much. So that is what I got at the con, guys. Um, these last two books I got from Instagram. And they were actually from Manta Comics. So shout out to Manta Comics. Go check them out. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, what are you doing? Go subscribe. Um, and follow him on Instagram. He always has some good sales on books. Really, really good sales, actually. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, oh man, I wish I had got another book that he had, but it's all right. I'm okay with it. Um, but the first book I got from him. Superboy 89, first Mon L. He actually was confirmed for Supergirl, so I'm really happy I got that book. Um, and then the last book I got, Justice League number 10, first Felix Faust. Great looking book, just a great looking book. Um, really happy that he 
he had a great deal on him, so I swooped him up. Um, that's actually my earliest Justice League now is number 10, so that's pretty awesome to have that as one of my early issues. I want to say it's actually my first issue from the from 10 and above. Well, obviously, but like I think it's like one of my major issues because I think the later ones I have is like 50. So I have to remember. I can't remember right now, but I know this is one of my earliest, earliest issues. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really happy about this con. It was great. Saw some guys from Instagram um, that I piled around with for a while. Um, just great, great vendors, great community. Really love it. Hopefully everyone had a good time at Stockton Con, whoever went. I know um, I know like one or two YouTubers went and I am kind I just wish I would have met them, but it's all right, but hopefully everyone had a good time. Hopefully you guys have a good time with whatever cons coming up next for you guys. So hopefully everyone keeps on digging and I will see you guys in a flash. See ya.